so much smaller than I expected. Rap man and rap woman. What is rap woman? And what does voices mean? This is the smallest phone in the world. It's right on the box. Or maybe it isn't, I don't care. What I do care about is that it's the most popular phone in prison. It's called a boss beater because it's designed from the ground up to beat a body orifice scanning chair called, well, the boss. And we're gonna do our best to find out today if that is actually the case, which uh, could get a little dirty. Just like our sponsor. Hetzner, thanks to Hetzner for sponsoring this video. Hetzner offers high performance cloud services for an amazing price. With their new US location in Ashburn, Virginia, you can deploy cloud servers in four different locations and benefit from features like load balancers, block storage, and more. Use code LTT22 at the link below for 20 bucks off. We'll begin by getting our equipment together. We got our banana for scale, our phone protectors, melon, <clears throat> uh, a drill, and of course, the Zenko Tiny T1. The first thing I get to do is unbox it. This box is a trip. Three days standby time, that's good if you have to keep it in hiding, you know, you can't just like charge it, right? Nano SIM, Bluetooth 3.0, got a lot of languages, that's really important, and that voices. Man, woman, child, old, cartoon, young, optimist, Duck Robot, Eva, Wally, Rap Man, and Rap Woman. <laughs> what is Rap Woman? And what does voices mean? Does it do real time voice disguising? <laughs> Shut up, it does! <laughs> oh my God, it's so much smaller than I expected. Looking at this box, is the picture actual size? No, not quite. Even in my tiny hands. Got a mic here. This has got to be for noise canceling. What looks like potentially another mic hole here. And this would have taken some real engineering because in order for you to hear anyone that you're actually talking to, the mic has to have a really, actually fairly sophisticated pickup pattern. There's one screw, what appears to be a speaker grill. Oh my God, it comes with a silicone case. How adorable is that? Now, by this point in the video, you're probably wondering who the heck Zanko is and how this came to be. And the product is actually the result of a successful Kickstarter campaign from back in 2018 that raised 246 thousand US dollars. Why? Because they set out with a very specific goal and according to our sources, they've done a pretty bang up job of it. Let's go ahead and open it up so we can take a closer look. I feel like I'm working on a toy, but it's not. It's a fully functional phone. Ooh, hey, I think it comes apart from the front. There's your display on a ribbon cable. This is OLED. It is. Wow. A half inch OLED. Your membrane button pad. Oh my God. Okay, there's your speaker driver right there. There's your tiny lithium battery, SIM slot, shielded processor, RAM, uh, basically everything else. I can imagine you guys thinking, build quality seems pretty rubbish. Why would anybody pay for this thing at all? And the answer is that Zanko knows their target market and the Tiny T1 is designed to meet it. Even the chassis material, sure, they could have gone premium metal in space gray, but there's no point beating the boss if it's just gonna get caught in the metal detector, right? Another example, micro USB, yeah, that's what you want because it needs to be as small as humanly possible so that it can be <clears throat> smuggled into the prison. Because of these qualities, people not only pay for them, but according to our contact on the inside, they're worth anywhere from 500 to 1,000 US dollars. <laughs> this or iPhone, right? 100%. I mean, if you're putting it in your butt. Yeah. Enough chit chat though, we gotta turn it on, right? Oh, that, is a, that is a very small screen. Still having trouble. There, okay. Just gotta get that, get that on there. I'm just imagining like the giantest dude with this thing now too. Check this out. We got two bars, but four bars. This is Jake's phone actually. So I'm not gonna check his text, but maybe, maybe Jake. Hey Jake, are you in earshot? Or like I can text him and whoa. <laughs> Let's figure out how the, oh! Is that the default ringtone? A gunshot? <laughs> You get one line of text per scroll, 18 unread message, seven characters max. 
Are you texting him right now? Okay. <laughs> Inbox, lttstore.com. Oh, okay, so that's from Colin then. It looks even funnier in your hands. I can't tell if I'm being memed right now. No, no, you're not. I just... <laughs> oh my God, you're like changing options. Cancel, done, K. Okay. Dude, they're all voicemail ones. Why don't I get these on my phone? That's weird. It's using 40% of its screen to tell me I'm looking at the message. I just want to read the message. I think I've kind of figured out the interface at this point though. We've got a D-pad here. This goes back and this goes forward. So I'm in the inbox now, sent messages. I can go back here, message, and now I can scroll through all my different things. Check that out. We've got the bit dialer. You know what? I'm not actually sure if this is a D-pad. This might just be an up and down rocker. A silent mode is super important. Our source told us that there have been instances of these being found and confiscated because they rang at an inopportune time or even because <clears throat> they vibrated the individual's <clears throat> self um, in transport. Magic voice. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, this is the voice changer thing. So it's on none right now. That's fine, we'll start normal. It's gotta be time to make a call. What? There's no way. You want your phone going six, zero, four. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's play with some ringtones. I'm liking that. It's got kind of like an 80s action movie kind of vibe. Is there any vibration? Oh yeah. These are amazing. Oh, that's so boring. I definitely like the last one. I feel like I'm in an action movie. Whoop. Yeah, it's gonna have to be that. <laughs> I feel so dainty. I feel like a dainty lady. Wow, am I on speaker? Hello? No, it's not. Wow, I really nailed the alignment on the speaker there. Actually, I guess it's kind of easy when the thing basically like fits inside your... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Colin, you can put it in your ear. I am now <laughs> next level, next level Bluetooth earpiece douchebag. I got the whole phone in my ear. I think you have the voice changer on already. Oh, oh I, I have, have the, the voice, voice changer, changer on. Oh, oh crap. crap. Oh, I'm in duck mode. There you go. How's my voice quality now? <laughs> it's significantly more Linus. It's a little quieter, definitely a little quieter. A little quieter, okay, cool, okay. You got your phone book, your call history, your, you can message, mute, volume, and oh yeah, magic voice. Well, you guys already heard duck by accident, but let's go ahead and try some more. Optimus, yeah. Okay. I would like to order a Strike on the Decepticons and a large pepperoni pizza. I think there are Decepticons that do sound like this, but it is not Optimus. Oh, okay. Oh, we haven't even shown your voice quality yet. Okay, I'm gonna put it right next to my mic. Okay, Colin, tell me a little story. I'll tell you a little story about this man who once dropped everything he got his hands on. All right, all right, that's enough of that story. Not bad though, right? Like, it's totally usable. Hey, Colin, you whippersnapper, are you, am I sounding, am I sounding a little older than I used to? You are now receiving your instructions from the robot known as a Wall-E. There's not much variation. It's either you get like a high pitch distortion or a low pitch distortion, and then they called it like three different things. Okay, last one, last one. Colin, do I sound like a rap woman? Whatever a rap woman would be. I ironically, you sound pretty, pretty much the same. Thank you for that. This is my new cellular telephone. It's Linus sized. What? Hi, Colin. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's for putting in your butt. No, it's not. That is. Yeah, it, it is. really is. For like prison people? Yeah. Why do we have that? So that we can see how well it fits in your butt and how good the reception <laughs> you is from that. your butt. You have fun. All right, hang it up. See you later. <laughs> Call ended. I can't believe we haven't already done this, but here's a short circuit banana for scale. LTTstore.com. Wait, we haven't sent a text message yet. Now, in prisons where you have a roommate, it is against prison code, according to our contact, to snitch on someone else for having a phone. But there still might be reasons that you may wish to communicate a little bit more discreetly. So let's go ahead. Oh, it's T9! <gasps> Blast from the past. Okay, it's not predictive T9 though. Okay. I'm trying to text you, Colin. Okay. Hi, Colin. 
Another interesting fact, people will sneak items like this, but not this, into prisons all the time. During the first 30 days, at least we know this about the Canadian penal system, you can get what's called a pen pack containing comfort items in the first 30 days of your incarceration. They've seen everything from phones inside bigger items like stereos. There was even a modified PS3 inside a PlayStation 1 case because you're not allowed to have an internet connected console, but a not internet connected console is okay. Smart TVs will have their USB ports disabled, for example, because inmates will often have USBs with a bunch of porn on them to watch, and apparently that's not okay in prison. I mean, why would you? You gotta use your imagination. We already know the Tiny T1 contains so little metal that a metal detector wouldn't be able to pick it up, but there are other ways that officials can catch devices like this during screening, including with an EMF meter. So what we're going to do is we're gonna check the electromagnetic radiation of a regular phone, the Zanko T1, and then the Zanko T1 <coughs> embedded in the bowels of a cantaloupe. We could have done this another way, <coughs> but I chickened out and frankly, I don't think anyone needs to experience that. So measuring RF in a space like this is not the easiest thing. We have so much freaking interference running around here. So we built ourselves a janky Faraday cage. We are grounded, we're able to roll this thing over and we're gonna do all of our tests inside this. So it's gonna sit here. And then what was the idea to just Put it yeah, in there. To turn it on and turn it to like uh, like watts per meter or or the amp setting there. Oh, someone's calling Jake. Uh, hi, this is Jake's receptionist. All right, so we're enclosed in grounded metal. Jake's on the butt phone. We should get this. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't just inhale helium. I think it's just a piece of shit. Oh, it might have a voice effect on. <laughs> Oh, wait, apparently this phone has like voice effect things. Anyways, what's up? <laughs> 1.8 watts per meter when it's broadcasting and then it kind of takes a break and switches radios. Uh, okay. 500 milliwatts per meter. So between 500 milliwatts and 1200 milliwatts. Let's try the Zanko. Uh, 1.9 microwatts per meter squared. Okay, so basically nothing. Yeah. I don't think this is the best Faraday cage. I made it in about 20 minutes. But still, we can see there's a marked difference between a yeah, normal it's still, phone. Yeah, it's still ringing. It has only two bars compared to four though. So it's definitely doing something. Yeah. And we can see that there's a huge difference between it sitting in here with this and with a normal phone. Yeah. So it's already yeah. pretty so, negligible. So then we need to know if it drops to like zero if we put it in a melon. Oh, it smells good. It's a good one. But before we insert our tiny T1 into our artificial body cavity here, I wanna talk safety and best practices. Obviously, the last thing you want is for your tiny T1, which you spent way too much money on, it's only $47 at retail, to get confiscated. You're gonna to have to hide your charger and your charging cable, but that's probably manageable. But you especially wanna hide your tiny T1. And when it's time to do that, one of the best ways to do it is to, um, you know, cover it, if you know what I mean. So this is a condominium, condom for short. The phone <laughs> lives in there, <laughs> sorry. It'll, this, that, this is to keep your SIM card clean. Okay. Just need to. Body cavity looks a little small. Yeah, it's a tight body cavity. You can, uh, you can just ream it out with the drill a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, give it a good old, the spiral. Just, yeah. Colin, go ahead and give me a call. He's Colin, get it? <laughs> well, you better hope that you don't receive a phone call while it's uh, while you're going through the check-in. That's a thing we did. We've officially reached a new low. Shark jumping is way in the rearview mirror. My assistant, yes. or my ass, as I call oh, it. Oh, don't. Two point three milliwatts per meter squared, and it's like bouncing up to yeah, it's right around three. Two, three. And now it's in microwatts, so it's 0 0.0011 microwatts. Okay. And then it goes and it, it tries to connect to the network again. I'm assuming it's lost reception. So we would, so it's saving battery. We would strongly recommend that if you're trying to sneak it anywhere, while it is more difficult to detect than a fully featured modern smartphone, it would be best to put it in airplane mode. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to try and you know answer yeah. the call. Because that would be a pretty rapid experience. Yeah. Just like this segue to our sponsor. Devolutions. 
Devolutions offers productivity and security solutions to IT professionals. With Devolutions, you can centralize all remote connections and credentials on a single platform that's securely shared with your entire team. Their remote desktop manager is essentially a Swiss army knife for remote access, and Devolutions server is a full-featured shared account and credential management solution with built-in privileged access components. Fun fact, Devolutions also has its own comic strip called Sys Adminitar about life in the IT world, and it's available on their website. So find out why Devolutions has a ridiculously loyal customer base of world-class IT pros with decades of experience who rave about their solutions and support by starting a free trial today by visiting devolutions.net or at the link down below. You can have your butler answer. You can have your butler answer. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this, but you don't need a phone that fits in your body cavities, maybe check out our video on the Fairphone. It's a little more practical and kind of a more sustainable approach to phone design.